Brad Cook, Communications 101. Some of the oldest structures still standing today are places like the Taj Mahal in India, the Colosseum in Rome, and the Pyramids of Egypt. All of these places have one thing in common. They have, were all constructed by the oldest form of building known to man, which is masonry. Hi, my name is Brad Cook, and I will discuss masonry and its historical importance. It is an ancient craft known for its structural integrity. My credibility to speak on this topic is I was a mason for several years. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so yeah, let's get started. The tools we need, we need safety glasses, level, Gotta pick up time. Tape measure, quick camera, wire brush. Okay. And tuck pointer for the joints. And uh, straw brush for cleanup. Okay, so first you want to spread the front like this. Okay. back. Okay. Um, the mortar is uh, actually constructed with uh, three different ingredients. It's constructed with uh, sand, sand, uh, lime, and uh, concrete mix. If you walk onto a bigger job site, you'll actually see uh, You'll actually see them doing it all by hand mixing like that. But since this is a small project, all I'm, I, I just bought a pre-mix. You can buy them in, it's a Type S uh, mortar mix. Okay. So you wanna make sure that you fill the head joints. These are the head joints right here. This is the head joint. You always gotta make sure those are completely filled. Uh, helps with the strength of the wall to make sure everything's filled real good. Okay. One more. Um, uh, of course, important. The first thing is a uh, solid foundation when doing uh, masonry. That is the most important thing. Um, it's you know depending on how uh, tall the wall is or how uh, short the wall is. There, you know, it is uh, the depth and the width of the foundation. Okay, a uh, normal block wall would be uh, a foot deep uh, by two feet wide, basically. Just a normal between the house uh, fence block wall. Okay, um, so next you want to get your level. I already leveled this one out, so basically just go off that one. have a long level but such small job just use this level. Okay. Also want to come across the front and throw your tools around while you're doing it. <laughs> right there. You want it to be straight. You want it to look straight like that. Thank you. Okay, you take the tuck point. This right here is to flatten everything out uh, to pack in the joints so they stay firm and to get a nice finished look to it. Let me take some of it out there. Head joints. I can, I've been doing it a while, I can eyeball, see it was a little off. And you take the wire brush, you want to brush that out. Some people like a smooth finish, depending on who you're doing the wall for. Some people like a, 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 a rough finish. I like a rough finish. So, I want to bring it in about a quarter of an inch. And same with the head joints, they want to be about a quarter of an inch. All right, last but not least, the 
cleanup of it. Makes it look all smooth and nice looking with the rough finish. Okay. Masonry is a dying trade. It's, it's, it's a dying trade because of new building technologies, you know, building, building methods. Um, Mason, because of new building te methods, it is fast and efficient and um, cost effective. The only problem is, is that these new methods only last up to about 30 years with the, until a repair start need to be made sometimes earlier. And uh, when masonry lasts a lifetime. In conclusion, I hope you can, uh, I hope you can, um, in conclusion, I hope you can, you've, you've gained some knowledge on masonry and its historical, uh, some historical facts about masonry. And I hope you can uh, appreciate the art behind it, as you can see, and can understand that masonry is a, is a trade that needs to be preserved. Thank you. Show the audience.